Hello and welcome to Bay College's uh, video lectures for Math 085. This is section 3.7. We're going to see applications of percent. In the previous section, we talked about converting percents to numbers or percents to fractions and vice versa. Well, now we're actually going to see where that is applied. In everyday life, we deal with percents. Maybe we go uh, to the grocery store and we're told something's 20% off. Or, and we, or maybe we want to know, well, how much is 20 for percent off. And this is where we actually have to do an algebraic translation, where we take the English language and we convert it to a mathematical uh, equation. So what we have to do is basically identify what are the most common words that we're going to come across that we have to translate to an algebraic uh, symbol. Well, we're already familiar with our numbers. And hopefully, we recall is. What does is mean in math? when translated from the English language. Well, is means equal. We already know what percent is. That is saying per 100 percent of. Of specifies a particular mathematical operation. And that's multiplication. Now, when in the previous section, when we talked about converting percents one way or the other, in order to do math on a percent, we generally convert it either to a fraction or to a decimal. And it's probably easiest to convert a percent to a decimal by just moving the decimal two spots to the left. So here we have 5 is what percent of 25? Well, when it comes to uh, the English language, what is our variable? It's asking the question. This is what we don't know. So if I want to convert this, we're, we're going to begin now. If I say 5 is, is I translate to equals. 5 is. What percent? Well, let's call this my unknown. I want to know what percent, but I don't know as of yet. Of 25. Of tells me to multiply by 25. So I translated this into an algebraic equation. 5 is what percent of 25? Direct translation. Now I can go ahead and solve this. Well, to undo this multiplication, I can uh, divide by 25, or I can multiply by its reciprocal, if we recall reciprocal. Well, the reciprocal of 25 is 1 over 25, or 1 divided by 25. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 25. That's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now, if I simply reduce 25 over 25 as 1, I have 1x, or 1 times x. And 5 over 25, I could reduce that to 1 fifth. But I want this to be a percent in the end. So maybe I want to convert this to a decimal. Maybe I do this division. Or maybe I find some other way. As long as we convert this to a decimal, because decimals are easy to work with when converting to percents. We just have to move that decimal point. So I look at this and I say, you know what? If this was per 100, I'm already where I need to be, per 100. And I know 25 times 4 is 100. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So this would be 20 over 100. To convert a fraction to a percent, hopefully we recall, we multiply by 100, multiply by 100. Well, this 100 cancels that 100, 20%. We converted 2%, 20%. So hopefully that makes sense. Maybe the math is a little bit uh, a different route than you may have chosen. But we came to 20%. If you did it some other way, maybe you'd go uh, reduce this to be 1 over 5. Well, 1 fifth, if you do that division, you'll get 0.2. Multiply 0.2 by 100, you'll get 20, 20%. All right, let's look at another example. It asks, what number is 25% of 55? And you'll see a recurring thing in all these problems. What is and of, those key words. So if I'm going to translate this, what number? That's my variable. I don't know. That's what we're asking. Is equals 25% of 55. Now, this is already a percent. In order to do any math with it, I have to convert it. Well, to convert a percent to a number that we can do math on, we move the decimal two spots to the left. So I get 
25, move the decimal, 0.25. So this is still my percent. It's just represented in a number form. So, so far, I wrote what number is 25% or 0.25 of 55. Well, now that I've done that, I'm ready to solve this. Because my x is already by itself. It's isolated. I can just multiply these two. So let's do that. 55 times 0.25. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 is 27. 2 times 5 is 10 when we're in this place. Two, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10 plus the 1 is 11. And now I can sum these partial products. 5, 7, 3, 1. I had two digits after the decimal. I need two digits after the decimal. 13.75. Now, I don't have to convert this to a percent because this is a number. We already dealt with our percent. We were asked, what number is 25% of 55? Well, we found the number is, and notice I'm using that same terminology, 13.75. All right, let's look at this example here. It says 0.5 is 20% of what number? Well, again, this is my variable. Of tells me to multiply. 20%, I convert that to a number by moving the decimal two spots to the left. 0.20 is, translates as an equal sign, 0.5. And I'm going to keep my zeros in there, because I like to have my leading zeros just so I can identify that decimal point. So if I kind of compress this together, we have 0.5 is 20% or 0.2 of what number? Now what I can do is divide by 0.2. Because I want to undo this multiplication, so I undo it using division. What I do to one side, I do to the other, divide by 0.2. And now we can see, OK, the 0.2 divided by 0.2, any number divided by itself, reduces to 1. 1 times x. Here, I have decimals. I want to get rid of those decimals. I can't have fractions and decimals. Or maybe I want to divide it. And in order to divide decimals, we'd have to move it. So I'm going to move this decimal over 2 to get 20. And I'll write it right here. And move this one over 2, because what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So if I move that over, I get 50. And now we can actually do this division. Maybe, it's, uh, maybe I want to reduce it first. I see, OK, they're both divisible by 10. So I have 5 halves. And what is 5 halves? Well, 2 goes into 5 twice with a remainder of 1. So I'd have 2 and a half. Maybe I want to leave it as a mixed number. That's OK, too. So if I reread the question with this answer, because x is 2 and a half, or at, we could say 5 halves. You can leave it either way. 0.5 is 20% of 2 and a half. That's the number we found. All right. Let's do another example here. It says, what percent of 200 is 20? Let's, this one we've got to be a little careful with, because it's asking me to find the percent. What percent? Let's call this my x. x represents a percent of 200 is 20. What percent of 200? is 20. Now, if we're going to solve this, well, I've got to undo this multiplication. So I'm going to use its reciprocal operation. What I do to one side, I do to the other. And now what I can do is simplify. Well, 200 divided by 200 is 1. 1 times x is just x. 20 divided by 200 is 1 tenth if I reduce it. If we look at it this way, the zeros, I can reduce that. 2, and this is divisible by 2. 2 goes into that once. 2 goes into that tenth. x is 1 tenth. Now I need to answer the question by writing it as a percent. If you recall in the previous section, we talked about writing uh, 
fractions as percents, or converting fractions to percents. Well, if I multiply it by 100, 10 goes into 100 10 times. 10 percent, because we multiply by 100. So x is 10 percent. What percent of 200 is 20? 10 percent of 200 is 20. So we see that's how we work that out. Now, you might see shortcuts as we go through this. Use them if you're familiar with them, if you're comfortable. And after you do enough of these, you'll see those, you'll get comfortable, and you'll be doing just fine. So to get some practice, why don't you try this one on your own? And remember, before you can do math on a percent, you have to convert it to either a decimal or a fraction. Let's move on. Here we have 200% of 13.5 is what number? Well, 200%, if I move the decimal, 1, 2, now it's a number, 2, right? 2.00 is just 2. Of tells me to multiply. 13.5 is tells me equals what number I assign a variable to. And I, as you've seen in all the examples I've used x so far, you can use anything you want. If you want to use y or a or b or hearts or horseshoes, maybe you're a fan of Lucky Charms breakfast cereal, use whatever you want as long as you understand that this is what we're looking to find as a number. Now, if we look at this, x is already isolated to one side. So all I have to do is the math over here. 2 times 13.5 is, and if we did that uh, vertically, we'd get 27. So I'll just take that shortcut, 27. If you want to see how that's worked out, go ahead and multiply that out. And you'll see you'll get 27. So let's reread the question. 200% of 13.5 is 27. That is the number we were looking for. All right, the next one says 132 is what percent of 33? So we just direct translation. 132 is what percent, which I'm going to assign as x, of 33, of 33. Now we've seen one similar to this. I'm going to undo this multiplication with its reciprocal operation. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. And now that reduces. 1 times x is just x. And we see this is really just a fraction. So maybe I want to do that division, or maybe I want to reduce before I do that division. I recognize both of these values are divisible by 3. So this would be 11 if I divide out a 3. This would be, uh, let's see, 44. And now we can see, hey, 44 divided by 11. Maybe we recognize that we don't even have to do long division. 44 divided by 11 is 4. So we find x equals 4. But we have to be careful, because x was what percent? Is this written as a percent? If we look at this, this is not a percent yet. To make it a percent, we multiply by 100. 4 times 100 is 400. Now it is a percent. So that is the value of the percent. What percent? 400 percent. So we've answered that question. Let's move on here. It says, what percent of 150 is 88.2? So what percent? Here's our variable. I'm going to call that x of 150 is 88.2. So I'm going to leave you at this here, and you're going to find that percent. When you find it, it's a number. Don't forget, convert it back to a percent for your final answer. So go ahead and try that, and good luck. Thank you for watching.